Kapag itong uh, usapin na ito ay magbunga sa isang kasunduan, mawawala ang final ostensible political basis na mag-wage ang grupo na nag e ng CPP and PANDF line for any armed struggle. That will be erased. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this uh, press conference uh, to make that uh, announcement of the Oslo Joint Communique. I will now turn over the microphone to Secretary Galvez, who was there. Isang mapayapa at mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat. I am honored to deliver upon the instruction of the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Jr., the Oslo Joint Communic. This joint communic highlights a significant milestone in the quest of the Filipino people to achieve peace, reconciliation, and unity. I am therefore privileged to report that the government of the Republic of the Philippines and the National Democratic Front of the Philippines have agreed to a principled and peaceful resolution in ending the armed conflict. Allow me to read the joint communique. The Oslo joint communique. On November 23, 2023, the government of the Republic of the Philippines and the National Democratic Front of the Philippines affirm and sign a joint statement to it. Cognizant of all serious socio-economic and environmental issues, and the foreign security threats facing the country, the parties recognize the need to unite as a nation in order to urgently address these challenges and resolve the reasons of the armed conflict. The parties agree to a principled and peaceful resolution of the armed conflict, resolving the roots of the armed conflict and ending the armed struggle shall pave the way for the transformation of the CPP, NPA, and DF. The parties acknowledge the deep-rooted socio-economic and political grievances and agree to come up with a framework that sets the priority for the peace negotiation with the aim of achieving the relevant socio-economic and political reforms towards a just and lasting peace. Such framework that will set the parameters for the final peace agreement shall be agreed upon by both parties. Consequently, we envision and look forward to a country where united people can live in peace and prosperity." Unquote. The joint statement is a product of a series of informal discussion held in the Netherlands and Norway starting in 2022 between the emissaries of the GRP and the NDFP with the facilitation of the Royal Norwegian Government. The parties recognizes the initiative of former Armed Forces of the Philippines AEP Chief General Emmanuel T. Bautista Jr., which was personally welcomed by then NDFP Chief Political Consultant Professor Jose Maria Sison. It was signed by the GRP represented by the Special Assistant to the President, Secretary Antonio Ernesto F. Lagdameo Jr., the Presidential Advisor on Peace, Reconciliation and Unity Secretary Carlito G. Galvez Jr., and General Emmanuel T. Bautista, and by the NDF, represented by the National Executive Council member Luis G. Halandoni, Negotiating Panel Interim Chairperson Tulieta de Lima, and panel members Connie K. Ledesma. The signing was witnessed by the Royal Norwegian Government Special Envoy Christina Lie Rebrum, the, the Foreign Minister of the Royal Norwegian Government Espen Bert Aid, graced the signing of the ceremony, which was held at the City Hall of Oslo, and affirmed the continuing commitment of the Royal Norwegian Government as third party facilitator. For their part, 
both Secretary Antonio F. Lagdameo Jr. and Luis G. Halandoni express optimism as to the positive path to peace that both parties shall work on. End of communique. I take this opportunity to call to all Filipinos to unite and fully support our President, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., and your government in this most noble endeavor to finally realize our collective and shared aspiration of a peaceful, prosperous, and united country. Mabuhay ang kapayapaan, mabuhay tayong lahat, at mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas. Maraming salamat po. We open the floor to questions from the media. Ivan Mayrina, GMA7. Yeah. Secretary Galvez, ang ibig sabihin po ba nito ay tapos na rin ang uh, armed insurgency? Wala na magkakaroon ng enkwentro sa pagitan ng mga armadong NPA at ang ating mga kasundaluhan. Ano hong magiging immediate effect nitong joint communique na ito? Yung immediate effect po nito ay uh, uh, ang ibig po sabihin ng itong joint communique at saka itong uh, uh, joint statement na pinimahan nila. This is a, uh, some sort of their collective, uh, our collective decision between parties that we are, uh, we are very firm and committed to have the uh, framework agreement and, and afterwards we will have the uh, final discussions on the final peace, peace agreement. Uh, pertaining on the, you know, the, the different operations that we are undertaking, sa ngayon po, nando po sila sa uh, Netherlands and we are undertaking some of the administrative and uh, some protocols that will be undertaken in the future uh, exploratory discussions. But translated to the situation on the ground, wala pa ho tong immediate effect. Uh, sa ngayon po, ang ano po natin is uh, uh, kung ano po ang ginagawa ng gobyerno, uh, patuloy po yung ano po natin, yung uh, ating pong programa. So it is uh, agreed upon that uh, there is no immediate effect. So yung uh, mga operations po ng armed forces sa pagtugis sa mga armadong grupo, patuloy? Opo. Thank you. Pia Gutierrez, ABS-CBN. Secretary Galvez, ano na pong mangyayari dun sa terrorist, uh, terrorist tag ng CPP-NPA? with this new development here? Uh, as I have said earlier, it will be far further discussion. They, they lay it in the table, but uh, it will be far, far further discussion. So they are undergoing uh, the discussion right now with our negotiating team. And I, I cannot frame uh, the discussion that are uh, being undertaken right now. Follow up lang, sir. Sir, what brought about this um, uh, this development, sir? Because there have been many attempts to talk peace between the government and the CPP and PA. What was different this time around, sir? So, nakita po natin yung ating mahal na presidente, uh, talagang uh, even dun sa inaugural speech niya, talagang uh, yung uh, aspirations natin to, to have a peaceful settlement of all conflicts. So yun po ang uh, nangyari. And uh, during, uh, during the early stages of uh, the administration, uh, ang maganda po is nagkaroon ng personal exploration si General Bautista. And he reported to the President. Uh, and uh, he reported the development. And nung makita po ng ating mahal na Presidente yung, ano, yung, yung uh, magandang uh, nagiging result, ay, uh, we were able to, no, to explore it. And that, that's uh, the, the reason why na nakita natin naging maganda yung ano yung uh, negotiation and we were able to no, to come up with the uh, joint statement wherein ang joint statement doon ang nakikita natin is uh, ang pinaka highlight is uh, we agreed na we would like to end yung uh, armed uh, struggle and armed conflict in a peaceful resolution peaceful resolution Kenneth Pasyente, PTV4. Good afternoon, sir. Um, sir, nakatulong po ba ang agreement sa pagbibigay ng amnesty uh, sa mga rebelding grupo dito po sa development na ito, sir? We should uh, 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 understand na yung amnesty, uh, granting of the amnesty has been, uh, long been uh, the, the program of the national government, even uh, during the time of uh, President uh, Rodrigo Rao Duterte. And we, when, when we, you know, when we uh, uh, saw the, you know, the, uh, the longing of the, the former rebels on having the amnesty, we, you know, we uh, recommended to the president 
for the continuance or for the, you know, for the extension of the proclamation. Considering that the proclamation that made by President uh, Rodrigo Rod that has not been uh, consummated or executed, considering that uh, the limited time of one year had already expired. So this is a different uh, program that we uh, uh, have undertaken. And it's, it has been uh, our program, not only for the CPP and PA, but also for the MILF, for the MNLF, or, and also for the uh, RPA ABB. So may I also ask the other secretaries po, kung ano po yung magiging role po specifically po ng DSWD and NEDA dito po sa development po na ito, sirs? Sa amin, sa DSWD, ang lente na tinitignan namin ay kahirapan at kagutuman. So kami, ang um, primary goal namin is maiahon ang bawat Pilipino mula sa kahirapan at sa kagutuman. So yun yung aming uh, mandato dito for every single Filipino. Sa, sa NEDA naman, uh, uh, as we all know, uh, instability, no? uh, particularly uh, political and this case, uh, instability, war, is very, very costly to the economy. And so, uh, efforts to achieve peace, particularly in the countryside, is surely inclusive and uh, growth-inducing. You know, so, napaka-important sa atin yung, yung uh, uh, peace efforts na ganito. Jean Mangalus, Inquirer.net. Um, good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Um, can we ask if there are, so there's no ceasefire right now. Um, is there a timeline to reach a ceasefire? As uh, Secretary Galvez has said, these are uh, preliminary exploratory talks. And all programs, security, law enforcement programs of the government shall continue. If I might add yung sa <coughs> local government units in effect nito, napakatindi na epekto nito. Because this is already grassroots. No? Ramdam ng local government uh, units, especially those affected by insurgency. What is important will be this transition period na kung saan, of course, it's a, sabi nga ng ating mahal na Pangulo, it's a whole of the government approach. Kaya lang dirito kami nga lahat ngayon. Diyan na after key, peace and order is always a key ingredient in every economic development. So, dyan na papasok lahat, magtutulungan lahat ang ahensya towards this goal. Of course, and just a grassroots and local government units. Jean Mangalus. Um, siguro question po to General Bronner and um, Sir Acorda. Um, how does the, um, your units, your institutions react to this given that yung mga tropa niyo po nakaaways yung mga taga-NDF before? How do they react? Well, for, for the armed forces of the Philippines, uh, this is very good news for us, no? Because it is the soldier, more than anybody else, who wants lasting peace, no? Who wants this uh, conflict to finally end. Kasi nga po, para sa amin, parang naging personal na itong uh, laban na ito. Marami sa aming mga kasamahan ang namatay dahil dito sa insurgency na ito. Uh, marami sa aming kamag-anak. Pinsan ko mismo no, namatay sa kamay ng uh, New People's Army. So this is uh, really a personal uh, victory for us. And aside from that, if this conflict will finally end, your armed forces of the Philippines will be able to shift our focus to external or territorial defense. No? Uh, so yung aming pong, uh, resources, efforts, will be poured into defending our territory. Pero habang wala pa po uh, final agreement, your armed forces will continue um, our operations against the New People's Army. Thank you. Well, on the part of the PNP, uh, bilang ama ng uh, Pulisya ng Pilipinas, Talagang napakasakit po every time that I will uh, pin medals to wounded uh, police officers and more so when I give uh, condolences to uh, relatives or wives ng ating kapulisan na uh, nadadali sa mga enkwentro ng uh, pag pagkikilaban. And uh, in line with this, this is a, this is a very welcome development. Uh, I hope this will lead 
really to uh, long and lasting peace and uh, I look at it as a uh, way of adding more food to the table sa mga Pilipino and uh, instead of uh, spending more money sa uh, ammunition and other armaments madadagdagan po yung ading mga makinarya at sa kamay infrastructure that will uh, help us attain a, a, a maximum development that's how I look at it and it's a very welcome development po Thank you. Let's hear from Secretary Año, National Security Advisor. Yes. Uh, on the lens of national security, our objectives actually is to eliminate the threats to national security, one of which is the threat from the CPPNPA uh, for more than five decades and then the CPPNPA. And I think it's about time to have closure, uh, closure that is acceptable to everybody, to the Filipino people, particularly ending the armed struggle. So with this, I think uh, this is a very, very good opportunity uh, to be able to, to give, uh, well, amnesty is actually in tandem with this uh, particular agreement. So kung magtutuloy-tuloy ito, uh, lahat naman ng conflict ay natapos sa uh, settlement. No? Uh, kahit look at the history of the world, uh, lahat ng gera sa natapos sa uh, negotiation and settlement. And maybe this is the... Uh, the what you call the the, the, the final uh, uh, agreement that we can c come into and matapos na rin yung uh, armed struggle and uh, if they can avail the amnesty I think uh, finally matatapos na natin tong five decades of uh, communist insurgency and tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung NTFL CAC particularly on bringing services and development projects to the countryside. Thank you. Uh, question from Raquel Bayan, um, sir, Radio Pilipinas. Sir, following this development po, uh, may we know kung meron pa po ba tayong active guerrilla fronts na monitor as of the moment and kung um, nasaan po kaya or ilan na lang po kaya sila? Hmm. Following this development, sir, may we know kung meron pa po ba tayong active guerrilla fronts na monitor po? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, right now, we have uh, 20 weekend guerrilla fronts. Wala na po tayong active guerrilla fronts. And uh, by the end of this year, we are uh, expecting five of these 20 to be finally uh, dissolved. So magiging 15 weekend guerrilla fronts na lang po ang matitira. Ivan Myrina again, please. Uh, Sirs, would you say that this is just a matter of time before we uh, finally achieve the long-lasting peace? Or are there certain pain points na kailangan pa po talagang negotiate Are there certain demands being made na medyo nahihirapan tayo ibigay? Sa ngayon, nakita namin yung, ano, yung uh, uh, sa negotiation na ginawa, uh, yung tinatawag natin exploratory talks na ginawa ng ating uh, national team. We saw na wala pa namang uh, uh, serious demand na inalagay dahil kasi ito, exploratory pa lang ito. But I believe uh, nakikita namin with the confidence na nakita namin na when we uh, first talked with them and even uh, uh, nagkaroon kami na talagang uh, some, ano, some cordial uh, discussions, I can see that uh, there is a positive uh, outlook na, no, na it will end up with a final peace agreement. Because uh, our no, our talks uh, in Oslo was founded on good faith and also on goodwill and also in sincerity. Uh, when uh, the, the, the party said that uh, if we will maintain that uh, uh, goodwill, I think we can uh, finally end up with the final peace agreement. In fact, yung ano natin, maganda yung ano natin, meron tayong tinatawag na maganda ngayon yung ginagawa natin because uh, General Bautista, Bautista was able to lay, lay down some of the, you know, the milestones. What, one is yung uh, joint statement that we have right now and then later we will have the uh, the you know the what we call framework and then after the framework the framework that will set the parameters we will have the final peace agreement this is pattern basically with the imila peace process because we also brief them with the imila peace process last question for me uh, secretary chodoro you I, I understand you said na no, wala pang ceasefire sa ngayon but traditionally nagkakaroon po tayo ng christmas ceasefire uh, is a christmas ceasefire in the offing or is it being uh, talked about uh, i i had 
occasion to answer the question yesterday that we leave it to the uh, local peace and order councils and the area commanders, unit commanders, to determine whether or not uh, they will suspend operations in their area of uh, uh, responsibility. Gusto ko lang maidagdag siguro na kapag itong uh, usapin na ito ay magbunga sa isang kasunduan, mawawala ang final ostensible political basis na mag-wage ang grupo na nag -e ng CPP, NPA, and the F-Line for any armed struggle. That will be erased, the political basis for it. So, it is important. Kenneth Pasyente, PTV4. Sir, Gibong, may we ask, how do you describe po yung sincerity nitong mga rebuilding group po dito po sa development na ito, sir? Uh, hindi ko matatansya sa ngayon. Si Secretary Galvez ang uh, nararapat na sumagot niyan. Uh, and uh, we, uh, this is a whole of government approach. And uh, as uh, things develop, naturally, we will get at the appropriate instructions from the president. Uh, with my experience with uh, with uh, dealing with a uh, different uh, different uh, rebel group, I have seen that uh, this uh, this uh, this time we have learned from our lessons from the past. Considering that we have uh, been negotiating for almost uh, uh, 21 years, 23 years from now, and with the you know, with the you know, with the gut feel that I, I had, uh, I believe nakita na, nakita us personally. Uh, there is that kind of commitment and also there is a kind of uh, goodwill uh, on both parties to continue uh, to discuss uh, some, uh, some, uh, some principled uh, uh, resolution to end really the armed conflict. So, yun na nakita ko na, ano, na based on my personal experience that there is, uh, we are very confident, I'm very confident that uh, there is uh, something that after this joint statement, we can finally end up with the final peace agreement. Okay. 